Hey, John Snow here for the Halo 3 Metascore Achievement Walkthrough for NextGenWalkthroughs.com. This is the fourth mission, number four, on the normal difficulty. This is The Storm. Skulls I have on are the Tough Luck, Fog, and Thunderstorm skulls. And you need 15,000 15, points for the Ascar, that's A-S-K-A-R, Ascar Achievement, which is the achievement linked to the Metascore on this mission. Uh, I've, as you may have noticed, so far throughout the game I've had the Tough Luck and Fog Skulls on. Uh, the Tough Luck is almost never a problem, except at uh, long ranges when it comes to uh, grenades and plasma pistol shots. But rarely are you going to be sniping people with a plasma pistol. A Fog Skull uh, you're not going to have enemies that s tend to swarm until you get to the flood, and even then, I only recommend um, not using the fog skull, keeping your radar for uh, the last couple of missions, as that's when you ha literally have enemies coming at you from all sides. Um, the thunderstorm skull is one I have not used before uh, in uh, these videos. And what it does is it uh, promotes or it upgrades all the enemies by uh, one step. So a uh, regular um, lightly armored blue brute will become one of the uh, stronger, like fully armored blues, and then a blue up to like a gold or something. Um, if you find like um, a brute that's like one step below a chieftain, so the strongest there without being chieftains, there's no need to worry though. Uh, no brute will get upgraded to a chieftain. Uh, to, like, with cheating armor or anything. That's never going to happen, or at the very least I've never seen that happen. All right, at the start of the mission, you want to get that battle rifle. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little late, but I was talking about skulls. You want to get that battle rifle uh, from the Marine that I saw, and if you don't already know how, you can trade weapons with um, allied uh, Marines, or, wow, that grenade was close, with allied Marines or even um, elites later in the game simply by walking up to them and holding RB when you're given the prompt in the upper right hand corner. Uh, and you're probably, real quick, you're probably wondering why I haven't had the Warthog go through. Yet, you want to wait until you've eliminated um, all the grunts from the area, because all it takes is one plasma grenade sticking your uh, Warthog, and you've lost that vehicle support uh, until you get in the outdoors area. That's definitely something you want to hold on to for a while. I probably should. Um, it's a good idea to uh, let it in through here. Uh, if you're unlucky, yeah, it'll get stuck with a grenade and you'll lose it. But that's not necessarily a problem. And it happens to me right at the end of this section. Just start chucking grenades. You're going to have um, a lot of them. And this area is actually a little tight, so they're not going to have a whole lot of space to jump away from them. Um... Yeah, uh, the brute can will only ever be a problem if he gets into a ghost, which he does for me. Not because the ghosts are a problem, but because it pretty much means that's a, I had to destroy that ghost, um, which was annoying because you kind of want these gro ghosts. Uh, yep, there we go. There goes the warthog. And that brute is really just this right here is the tough luck skull in effect. And yeah, I shot a marine. Is that when his shields were put down like that, he just charged. Um, and if I was not paying attention, he probably would have killed a marine or two, which is not bad, because, um, there's already marines in the next area, and these marines aren't really your help, aren't really much help. So as soon as you align yourself on this little path here, just hit, uh, left trigger, which is for the boost, and just run over those three guys there, you'll get a night, you'll get the splattery bonuses for them, and you'll get a multi-kill bonus, since you'll kill them all very quickly. Um... I think it's possible to destroy this phantom, but I've never tried. Uh, there's not really much of a bonus. I, I think, um, I did see a video of it once where someone did destroy the phantom. Um, they did it on, like, co-op, and they had multiple people in ghosts and, like, warthogs and were just shooting away at one of the, uh, engines, which is the weak spots of them. And it fell down onto that area where uh, I'm shooting at, and it killed, like, all the guys there. Once you, um, use the ghost to take out um, bunch of the guys up top. You can head up there. It's it's pretty safe. There there might there might be one guy, one or two guys left. Grab the sniper rifle. Um, and if you're lucky, 
Um, the missile pod will still be there. A lot of times it's not. Um, snipe out the uh, turret gunners of the uh, of that the turret gunner of the wraith that's down in the in the lake bed. Simply because you just don't want him messing around. Snipe out this one. That's the one you really have to kill. Um, and, I, and these ghosts are just really starting to piss me off right now. If always keep moving though. Standing in one place is a very nice way to get killed, um, especially uh, by that wraith that's over on the left, the uh, mortar wraith, the one I'm handing over to now. Uh, he kills you in one hit, so watch out. Jump onto them, um, and I was not even like paying attention or something. You notice how my shields actually just went down. He tried to ram me. If he'd hit the boost, probably could do a significant amount of damage. Uh, it takes about three to four melee hits. Um, to kill the brute inside, but don't overhit it and don't plant a grenade in it because you want this wraith. Um, just start bombarding the anti-air wraith that's down there along with any ghosts that are dumb enough to uh, go after you. Um, a lot of people uh, like um, like to rush up to that little platform where the sniper rifle was and grab the missile pod and use that against the ghosts. But I find it better um, just to leave them for the Marines. Because they can actually uh, handle them quite well. And I almost tipped my wraith there. Which would have been cool. I don't think I've um, done that in a while. Uh, once you've killed the uh, other wraith. Um, a bunch of guys will spawn in there. I just had to edit out a bit of a pause screen there. Uh, if you want, head back and grab a Marine for the turret gun, I advise against it because you're going to be getting out of the wraith here in just a minute. And an alternate strategy for this section that I've never tried uh, I've always thought about it, but when I get to this section, I've just always, I just keep forgetting about it, is get a ghost and just drive it in here and use that. Uh, head up the side passages uh, because on the other side um, to the right is actually I think my grenade actually bounced off that ground is um a marine manning a uh, turret, one of the machine gun turrets, and that marine uh, actually will will be shooting at them the entire time from that other side, and will keep them distracted quite well. Uh, use the sniper rifle at that medium range to take down the uh, chieftain's shields, but do not use the sniper rifle for the uh, headshot. Use the battle rifle for that. Because the three bullets in that slight spread work very well. See you next video.